Whether crypto advanced or unspeakably new, Bitcoin.com has a wallet for you. Ian Freeman of Free Talk Live said something on his show the other day that I, I want to uh, question. I haven't been following this story closely, but apparently some Americans did some shoplifting in China and there was some question as to whether the American government was going to help them or whatnot. But I don't remember the details, uh, but well, I, I don't remember the details of the incident, but I remember Ian saying uh, that with when it comes to shoplifters, well, you know, who kind of... I got the idea he was saying uh, kind of who cares what what happens to them. Uh, so again, we want to plug this idea into the non-aggression concept. Uh, yes, shoplifting can be an act of aggression, but again, we're in China, so in theory, we don't know we don't know what these ch- shoplifters' motives were. They were probably just shoplifting. But what if you know you were in China and you were really angry about the human rights abuses committed by one of their companies, which is practically one of their governments, or a representative of their government, you know, and you sort of committed a, 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 a you know, a, an act of guerrilla stealing, sort of like guerrilla warfare, except you didn't physically harm anyone. You, you went into this store, these are terrible people, they've done terrible things, and you take something from them to retaliate. You could do that in China, and probably, in some circumstances, I wonder if you could do it in America, but I don't think I know enough about any of the corporations to call any of them that bad. In China, you know, yeah, you, could, you probably got companies that do slave labor and, and stuff like that. So if someone who shoplifts against one of these institutions is not exactly, you know, initiating the harm, not necessarily. They may be retaliating. And, and retaliation is not to be confused with an act of aggression. Now, having said that, of course, the American government should not be expending tax funds to try and help Americans in China or expending tax funds to do anything except maybe the expenses that would be involved in shutting itself down forever. So, I guess Ian is right that the government shouldn't do anything. But we should be hesitant to judge too harshly people who steal in every case. Yes, again, if the stealing is an act of aggression, if it's initiating the theft against an innocent person or a hapless institution that hasn't hurt anybody, hasn't initiated harm against anybody, then uh, we should be gentle in our judgment. Of course, stealing from a company just for the sake of your own benefit or without a just cause in the form of that company committing an act of aggression first, yeah, that's wrong. And the penalty should be proportionate. How confident are you in the ability or the willingness of these governments to keep their punishment proportionate?